If you're someone who's struggling with your topspin serve, the problem might just be that you're contacting too high. The flat and slice serves are contacted at full extension, but not a topspin serve. A topspin serve, you want to allow the ball to drop lower so that your contact is to the inside of your hand, and then there's room after contact to go up to full extension. Topspin is hit when you go from below the ball to above the ball. It's no different than a topspin forehand or backhand. You drop the racket head below contact and you end up above contact. No different than slice is high to low, topspin is low to high. So if we want to be going low to high on a topspin serve, we obviously cannot contact at our highest reach. We have to allow the ball to drop. This is a game changer for players who know that they should be tossing behind them, who know what the grip is, they know they need to stay sideways as they strike the ball, but it's this missing piece that they're so used to full extension on their flat and slice serves that they go to top spin and then they still reach up high and they don't get the spin that they're looking for. So I'm gonna hit some right here and I'm gonna try two things. I'm really gonna to try to allow the ball to drop down below you know, my highest reach. I'm gonna to try to contact back here or what feels to be back here. That way there's a lot of room for me to be going up as I strike the ball to get spin. And I'm also gonna really try to keep my body sideways. It's something that I screw up all the time is I open up my body and I swing toward the target, which flattens out the spin. I'm gonna to try to stay really sideways, keep my body facing the side fence. And we'll see if we can't get the ball to jump to the right a little bit. Still opening up too much. That was a good one. Man, that really jumped. On that one, I really felt sideways. These are pretty good for me. I don't have, I'm not a world-class player, so I don't have a world-class serve. I think we can all relate to that. I hope you could see that. That ball actually very much jumped to the right. All right, last one. Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against, and it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy, and what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code, so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you want to find a league in your area, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Don't contact super high on a topspin serve. Yes, toss slightly behind you, but allow that ball to drop. It's really important to contact lower so that you can still be going up as you strike the ball. And if you keep your body sideways as you do that, you can really get that ball to jump as to the right as a righty. Go out and practice as I am right here. I'm, I'm gonna turn this video off and I'm just gonna hit some topspin serves because I wish I'm, my topspin serve was better, so I'm gonna use these tips to work in my own serve. So use these tips for your topspin serve, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.